Come along with me as they fly the ILS approach to runway 29 at the Columbia, South Carolina airport. Today, approach control is providing radar vectors to the final approach course. Oh, 7735 miles front, by just turn left heading 320, maintain 1800 till established on the localized declared ILS runway 29 or approach. Okay, 320, you say 2100 till established or 2.2 till established? 7735, turn left heading 320, maintain 1800 till established on the localized declared ILS runway 29 or approach. 1800 till established, cleared for the approach now for 773. 9 call 936, turn right heading 050. AC uh, 4943, verify reducing speed to 210. Here I'm turning on some exterior lights as we enter onto the approach. Somebody else calling Columbia Approach. Yeah, person, there's somebody at 212 requesting higher. Person at 792212, contact shot approach 125.4. 125.4. Person at 212, that's 125.4, good day. Roger, 125.4, good day. November uh, 4, Alpha Sierra, contact Augusta Approach 119.15. Uh, one nine call the 936, descend and maintain 2000. The weather is VFR today, so I simulate instrument conditions by wearing some foggles. Lights on, carpet heat flops down, is the in case you haven't figured it out, I'm Cessna 773 as you listen to the radio traffic. November 773, traffic you're following is a short two mile left base for runway 29 of caution, wake turbulence, contact Columbia Tire 119.5. 119.5 for 773, looking for traffic. Columbia 765773 with you on the ILS uh, runway 29. Number 65773, Columbia Tower, runway 29er, cleared to land your number for a correction. Number 773, runway 29er, cleared option. Traffic assured from mile five. I clear the option for 773. All right, live needle almost centered. Uh, wind check. Wind 320 at eight. Oh, she sounds really pleasant. The needle I referred to was the glide slope needle. The glide slope is used to guide the aircraft down to the runway. All right, needle centered. Looking for five, well, 427. 427 feet is decision height. It is the minimum altitude I'm permitted to descend to without having the runway environment in sight. Hey, cargo 167, turn right, contact ground point nine today. Our marker's going off, but I don't know. Ground point nine on that cargo uh, 167. <laughs> All right, missed approach is going to be uh, right turn 330, 4,000 feet. And the landing aircraft should be a factor. He's gone. Figured it might be. All right, there's 1,000 to go. Still need to get on the course line. I make calls at 1,000 feet above decision height, as well as 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 above DH. Okay, Cessna 
Columbia Tower, Nick Cargo 936, number 2, runway 29. Nick Cargo 936, Columbia Tower, number 2, runway 29, or clear to land, traffic is a Cessna, 2 mile final. Clear to land, runway 29, number 2, Nick Cargo 936. Five hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. 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 One hundred. And it should be popping out of the wood. Okay. I've elected to do a touch and go in this approach as the controller has cleared us for the option. A phone's ringing. <laughs> okay, there's touchdown. I clean up the airplane, throttle up, and we're off again. Alright, right to three, zero, four thousand. And tower uh, seven seven three on the miss, coming right to uh, three two zero, five and a four. Seven 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 three, contact departure. Search of departure for 773. 24, 5, 15. Yes, sir. Lumbia departure 65773, uh, just out of 1000 for 4, and we're on a heading 320. November 65773, Columbia departure, radar contact, climb maintain uh, 4000. Okay, climbing to 4,000 for 773. 